Hey guys, Nick here, and today let's talk about a team of material science researchers that have just made the first breakthrough that can make so-called soft matter a viable data storage medium. At incredible storage densities, the soft matter consists of microscopic particles that are suspended in liquid and encode the same ones and zeros stored on hard drive platters today. Researchers theorize that just a tablespoon of liquid hard drive could be used to store up to one terabyte of data. Let's check it out. The term soft matter is almost as fuzzy as it sounds. It's rather generic and can refer to liquids, foams, polymers, and even some biomaterials. The good thing about soft matter, though, is that it has predictable physical behaviors at various temperatures. That being said, the team behind the liquid hard drive has used a suspension of specially designed dimpled nanoparticles. And because these particles are not permanently dissolved in solution, they retain their expected properties. When we heat this liquid up, the particles reorient themselves, but like we just talked about, in specific and predictable ways. The nanoparticles used in this study were arranged in groups of four or more, with a central sphere acting as a binding point for the cluster. Adding heat causes the particles to rotate around the sphere and adopt different configurations. Now, the leap from dancing nanoparticles to actually storing data in a bottle of liquid isn't a very hard idea to grasp once we think about it. The simplest four-particle cluster has only two distinguishable configurations, other than the default unstimulated state. These two different states can be read as a 1 or a 0, and thus each cluster of nanoparticles encodes a single bit of data. The team has dubbed the liquid a digital colloid. Of course, this is just the first step. Someone still has to find a reliable way to assemble the clusters into the right shapes across a larger volume of liquid and then read that data quickly. Counting bits with a microscope probably isn't very conducive to anyone. Cool, yeah, but we can't exactly justify its utility here. The liquid hard drive team believes the data density could be very high with the right techniques, which is where they got the 1 TB per tablespoon figure. Maybe they'll prove us wrong one day, but right now hard drives will remain solid for a while. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.